the two jail events, how long did it last for? Um, I got nine and a half months the first time for aggravated robbery. I beat someone up for his shoes during the day. They knew who we were, put us in jail. And I shouldn't laugh at it, but that's just um, dumb. dumb. <laughs> you know, really dumb. But you were a kid. Um, yeah, I was uh, – well, I felt like, you know, I was not just a kid. I thought I was an adult because I'd been through so much already. But um, um, And then the second time was for assault. Um, I only got like a month or something in the rock. Um, I came out – I think I was 20, um, just for dumb stuff. And how did you start fighting? Like, well, no, I was um, in a lot of trouble. We were um, doing a lot of bad things as kids. Um, gang? Mug mugging people. Like a know? gang or, or a group? I wouldn't call it a group. Just you know, uh, young kids that, you know, our our livelihoods at home weren't, weren't good. We were more safe out on the streets together than, than at home with um, shitty parents, um, to be honest. And... You know, we just became friends and hanged out together and and took our frustrations out on everyone else. You know, that's, you know, I learned to drive in stolen cars and, and, and ride in stolen bikes. That's that's how, how stupid it was, you know. And, and I felt safe, safer out in the streets than I did at home. How did you get into a gym and start to put a structure around? Okay, so I, you know, I, we just finished mugging some people at the back of the nightclub. Um, we ran into the nightclub. Um, you know, a friend of mine, I said to my... To one of my other friends, oh, where's uh, John gone? He said, he's outside with these four boys. And I went to have a look and these guys are kicking the shit out of him in this corridor. So I run to help him. I had some Johnny Rebs on and I slipped up and we ended up sitting shoulder to shoulder and these guys were kicking the shit out of all of us, both of us. <laughs> so what happened was these guys were standing in front of the club called DTM. So I was, you know, I was irate after that. I was, you know, I walked up the police were already there and I just, they were laughing. So, you know, I was, you know, I just, I, I I dropped one of them. One I of the coppers? No. One of the other bikes, yeah. I dropped like maybe three or four of them and there was a big rumble and and um the bouncer, his name his name is Sam Masters, he grabbed me and hit me in the toilets and um he became my first trainer. He said, uh, you know, he saved me from getting arrested and he said, Would you like to fight um Muay Thai? I said, What is that? He said, Come to my gym, um, you know, four days. Of training, and then that week, the next weekend, I was fighting in the very same club. My first Muay Thai fight, <laughs> amateur fight, like your first amateur, first fight ever in the first ring. fight. Yeah, so you know, I thought I was pretty cool because he gave me some Muay Thai shorts. You know, the guy was like thirty kilos heavier than me. I still knocked him out, but um, yeah, that's that was my first experience. I was walking out there, um, you know, in that same very nightclub, but like like probably a three hundred, maybe four hundred people there, and they're all looking at you. I'm like this. Oh, this is kind of strange. You know, there's like bright lights and like everyone's looking at you and you're like, you know, and then my first, when I kicked him, well, he kicked me for the first time in the legs and I'm like, oh, wait a minute. That hurt. <laughs> that hurt. <laughs> you know, and that was, it was kind of a weird feeling, but, um, you know, well, actually not weird because I've always been hurt by my, my dad, but it was like in, you're actually in combat with some another male, you know, a, a male that's, 30, you know, I think it was not 95 kilos or 100. He was like maybe 140 or something. But, but yeah, that was my first experience of an actual ring fight. I started fighting in New, New Zealand. Um, I got free trips to go and fight all around the country, which was really right. cool for me because yeah. Sam was a surfer. And I went with the surfers and we went and we had fights here, here, here. And it, it allowed me to travel New Zealand. You got to see your country. I got to see New Zealand and um, I was like, wow, this is pretty cool. I didn't have to pay for anything. They just picked me up. We just went and I fought and they surfed and and it was like, um, it was really cool. I found it really cool because I, um, he was like a, a father figure to me, Sam. You know, he looked after me. Um, I ended up moving into the gym we had and um, staying with him, um, working the, the doors as a doorman. Um, yeah, I, I love Sam. He's a good man. He, he, said, he helped me a lot with um, direction and stuff. Um, or what to do, but I didn't really look at fighting as um, a, a, way of, a, a way of life. You know, I just, um, it was just a way to get out of my house. 